hello everyone you are welcome to the second episode and the part one of the structural calculation of the canopy where we uh, attempt to design a base plates and both connection for our column all right so in the last episode we did the loading calculation and we just get the overall overview of the of the building so right now we will be um moving to the um analysis so in the structural analysis we aim to calculate um, all of the shear force, um, the bending moments, and then the the axial force, and you know, all necessary force that is going into the base of the column. Don't forget that the load at the base of the column is what we will need to design our base plates. Okay, so we need the loading. Okay, so let me just have um, a free body diagram. Let me say a uh, free body diagram. Okay, so don't forget I have my beam like this, and then I have my column like this, and my column is having uh, you know a lot of fixing. So the fixing here is what I need. Okay, I have some UDL. So this load is a. Uh, 9.96 in our previous calculation 9.96 kilonewton per meter that is just this load looking at me here okay so which is the total load on each beam so 9.96 kilonewton per meter don't forget that we also calculated the wind load on the canopy which will be applied over here which is 9.2 kilonewton and then we also calculated the um the wind load on the column which is a uh, 2.14 kilonewton all right so um the distance from here to here and distance from here to here so here is 3.5 meter and this is a uh, 4.5 meter both accumulate accumulating to 8 meter and don't forget that the height uh the height is 5.5 meter so i think this is all right so the total load on the beam is here okay and then the wind force is here and then this is here so um let's uh, also determine what the height of this wind load is applied the height of this load is uh don't forget that we have our canopy like this and then we have this like this okay if you check the knots um, the knot elevation that I showed you earlier. So the height of this is a uh, 5.5 meter, right? And then the canopy is 0 0.4 meter. So definitely the wind force on the canopy is going to be applied over here, right? So that means the height will be 5.5 plus 0 0.2 because this load here is at uh, you know 0 0.2 meter. So the height of this um wind load is actually 5.7 meter so 9.2 kilonewton load applied at 5.7 meter okay also you need to uh, verify the height at which this is applied so this will also be applied somewhere around here so according to euro code we expect that this zs to be 0 0.6 height okay so this one you can say the zs the zs is equivalent to h plus h1 over you can take your euro code uh, you can't really see exactly where that is but this is the formula for the zs so that is why i quantify this so our h in this case is 5.5 and my h1 is 0 0.4 so divide by 2 that is how I got this uh, 5.7 so for the case of the wind load applied on the column our ZS is 0 0.6 H so which is basically 0 0.6 multiplied by the height which is 5.5 out of the column so that will give me 3.35 meter so it means this 2.14 kilonewton is applied at 3.35 meter okay so that's our ZS. 
so right now let's calculate the reaction at the base okay so basically what we need is a reaction at the base so we need three things we need to know the moments at the base we need to know the axial force at the base and we also need to know the shear force at the base okay so um first let's calculate the axial force our axial force mm, 9.96 kilonewton per meter and then i'll have to multiply that by the total length of the beam so that will be uh let me just say 3.5 plus 4.5 meter okay so and then i will have to add that to the uh width of the column so the width of the column has been calculated to be 3.36 so that means the vertical force at the base here will be equivalent to 83.04 kilonewton so um that is our easier force so if we have um, a sketch at the base like this okay so the vertical force at the base if this is point b so mb which is the vert asia force at point b has been calculated to be 83.04 okay so that's the asia force um the second one i will be calculating is the shear force okay shear force at the base of the column the shear force which is probably this force like this you know the horizontal force here so to calculate that it is um quite easy the only shear force which is the horizontal force that we have here they are two in number which is this guy 9.2 and then this guy 2.14 so i will just calculate that to be uh 9.2 plus 2.14 and that will give me uh 11.34 kilonewton okay that's my shear force so you can easily say um sf is equal to 11.34 kilonewton so uh, my bending moment at the base which is the moment at the base our weight load 9.96 so 9.96 multiply by the total length which is um eight meter and then don't forget that the center of gravity will be around here because uh, yeah that will be like uh, four meter you know the total length is eight meter so the load is now converted into point load and to be at four meter so the offset from this position up to this position is just 0.5 meter which is four meter minus this 3.5 meter so multiply by uh 0.5 meter okay so that is the <coughs> moment from the from the weight load our minus are from the moment that will be caused by this uh 9.2 kilonewton wind load so that will be multiplied by 9.2 we multiply by don't forget that one is applied at 5.7 meter so i'll say multiply by 5.7 okay this load is about 5.7 and then i will also minus that from this one okay so that will be uh 2.14 multiplied by uh 3.355 don't forget moment is force multiplied by the perpendicular distance okay so um at the end of the day i'll be having a moment of minus 19.65 kilonewton meter okay the minus is the, the direction so my mb is now uh 19.65 kilonewton meter okay so i think we have all of the load so um let me just draw a proper free body diagram before we go so that at least we can have like a simple summary of what we've done my hand i need to kind of make this to be straight as much as possible my hand is kind of um, not straight okay so if this is um position b so our vertical force on this position which is the mb mb has been calculated to be what 83.04 kilonewton also our shear force 
let's call that v b because shear is usually represented with v so our shear force um that is uh let me quickly peep 11.34 so our vb is 11.34 kilonewton and then we have a moment moment is usually represented with m so our moments mb that is 19.65 kilonewton meter so this is the result of our analysis so now we know the area force at the bottom of the column we know the shear force at the bottom of the column and we know the moment at the bottom of the column so now that we have these three analysis results we can now use it to design our base plate don't forget the objective of this is to design the base plate and design the boat so these are the forces we will be using to design the base plate so um this will be the end of episode two in episode three we will go into the base plate design so um just check up on that i will upload that um, almost immediately so uh thank you for watching i'll see you in the next episode